The following program is sponsored by friends and partners of Kingdom Connection. Today on Kingdom Connection, discover the seven supernatural blessings found in Psalm 41. I want you to listen to this, folks, because this is a word from the Lord for you in 2012. You want to know how to get the favor? You want to know how to get the blessing of God upon your household, your family? Many of you need healing in your body. I want you to listen closely. Join Jensen Franklin today along with Haiti missionaries Bobby and Sherry Burnett as they share this powerful secret and learn how you can help those in the most impoverished country in the Western Hemisphere next on Kingdom Connection. Hello and welcome to Kingdom Connection. I'm Jensen Franklin. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I know you're going to be touched and you're going to be helped. I believe you're going to find out a secret from God's Word that a lot of people have not discovered yet, a revelation, an insight that's going to change your life. It's going to set you up for blessings in 2012. I'm delighted today to have in the studio with me Bobby and Sherry Burnett. They are incredible missionaries, have been for over 20 years in the nation of Haiti, they have a ministry called Love a Child, and I'm just so glad you guys are here. We love you and appreciate you, and it's been a blessing to get to see what you're doing in that nation. We well, love you too, Brother Jensen. We love you, and thank you so much for everything you've done before. Well, we love you. What a blessing you and your partners and for each other been to the children and the people and the poor of Haiti. I mean, what a blessing. You have helped in so many ways. We couldn't do a whole TV program here and say enough. Couldn't show everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, been a, thank you. Well, the wonderful people who watch the program have responded and enabled us to be a blessing. I know that when we came over with our family, it really touched us. And um, we had no idea when we started two years ago mm. that the earthquake would hit um, about mm -hmm. a year ago. And and the devastation that would come. But we saw firsthand the pain, the heartache, the, the amputations, mm -hmm. the uh, horrible, horrible starvation and everything that was taking place. And God began to stir in our heart to do something, to, to partner with you, to help you by providing, you know, at first, I think it was 240,000 meals a month, and then we upped it to 540,000 meals. And the people have been so good to help us do that. Um, kind of tell us what it's been like ministering there and how real the need is in the nation of Haiti. Well, the need is uh, desperate, desperate for food, desperate, especially since the earthquake. And, you know, you've been given 540,000 meals a month uh, so for being distributed out to the people who's hungry and especially the children. Mm -hmm. But you've been such a blessing. I just want to say real quick, not only the food have you done, but you, uh, not only the, the wonderful big field hospital have you helped support with us and uh, Harvard University to help care for all those poor people. Right. Not only that, but then not only the hundred thousand dollars of the two big trucks yes. that the, uh, you purchased. That was for a Haiti. life not that, Then not only the so the those trucks go up through oh, the remote the regions, food. right? They carry the food into the regions beyond. Then, of course, 100 houses for the Leyton victims who lost everything from the lake rising up. 100 brand new houses, brand new community. And, of course, the wells, the two wells that was put in. And the list goes on and on. Well, but, thank you. I, I tell you, I, I get thrilled when I think about those trucks every week oh, going out blessing. into regions that the, the people have no means, no way to get hmm. to food. And so we're blessed to have those new, brand new trucks and take the food to them. But let's talk about the village for just a moment, kind of give us an update. You know, I remember walking through the tent village with yes. you, Sherry, yes. and, uh, and the doctor from Harvard and you, mm -hmm. Bobby. Dr. Hillary. Just being moved. At one time, you had four, five, six, seven thousand people living on your compound. They just came from everywhere. Mm -hmm and you were overrun, really, yes. with, with desperate, desperate needs. Out of that disaster has come a miracle. Yes, Tell it, us about it. Oh, absolutely. It's been incredible because, first of all, they were, they were living, of course, as you know, in those little mud huts, starving to death. 
And years ago, Bobby and I and our partners went in there and we built each family a little, a little block house. And that was incredible. But then, before the big earthquake, little small earthquakes were hitting Haiti. People really didn't know about that, but we were getting earthquakes all the time. They opened up underground springs under that big lake. Mm -hmm. and what happened, unfortunately, is that lake came in and it took every house that we built. In fact, children got killed because of the lake. Mm. So they were forced to move out of those nice houses into mud huts again. And the lake has continued to rise mm -hmm. and taken over every house, every mud hut and everything. And the people have told me, I'm so afraid of the water at night. I'm mm. so afraid. And then you came in and your heart was touched, joined the feeding program. And, and, and you said, you know, I believe the Lord is laying it upon our hearts to, to build these people a house. And, and to us, that was such an incredible miracle. And truly today, it is a reality. Yeah, those it's a people, reality. Yeah. I mean, those people can open the door of a house and walk inside. You, you've built a whole new village there, the new Leyton Kingdom Connection. They have beautiful houses, furniture, gardens, vegetables. They're happy. They're not the same people, Bobby. No, the whole attitude, their whole outlook's changed. It's That's just incredible. So, oh, yeah, because you know, you've been there in the beginning right. when they was depressed. Those, I'll never forget those, no uh, those huts, those made out of sticks and mud. And um, what, what is that they make? Uh, you mentioned. Kai, they I call them Kai one time pies. you said it was like it was like uh, living in a concentration it, camp. It, basically, it was pitiful. Oh, it got pitiful. mud floors, mud. When it rains, it's mud. Terrible. But look what the Lord has done. The people helped us, and and there's a hundred homes that? there, and there's a little family. And, Just you know, beautiful. And I, I, yeah, and I know. I remember you walking in one of I the do. homes. It was so decorated, pretty on the inside. Right. You were standing around there. And of course, there goes the amputee there. A lot of amputees and people lost legs in the earthquake and right. arms. And, um, but, you know, they got their whole life's changed. They have 100 brand new homes. And people have to understand this is like a mansion. It's a mansion. To, to no, this compare is a mansion. it to what the people were living in and going through, this, this is like a mansion. This is beyond their wildest dreams. They cannot dream something like this. And Never. they are so happy. And Praise since God. even these videos were made here, they planted corn seven foot high around their houses. <laughs> they've got watermelons, they've got okra, right? they've got beans, and they're selling them. They got so many vegetables. They're selling them, because there's no, 85% unemployment. Yes. But they're selling their vegetables, they're making money, and eating the rest, but they're, and they're, uh, God has changed your lives. And, uh, and Brother Jensen, you just don't know, um, I keep on telling, you don't really realize what you and your folks mm -hmm. did, uh, your partners, uh, for this village and these people change your lives well, and save lives. You, you have labored, you guys have labored there at Love a Child for over 20 years doing the work of Jesus Christ to this beautiful village behind me built. I, I can't imagine what you've been through. Just, yeah. you know, the, the ups and the downs. It's, I tell you what, it's, it's a great testimony to what the Lord and God's people have done. So true. It is such a so testimony. True. There is a, and the need continues. Yes. We're seeing now an oasis of hope and love. But if you go outside those walls, outside. you'll see starving children. You'll see people dying of hunger. I'll never forget, you know, going there and seeing firsthand the uh, tremendous cry of, for need and of need and help. And the thing that touches me, we were talking about it uh, before the program. Bobby, you, you said one night the, the Lord woke you up and, and showed you Psalms 41, and it made such a profound impact on your life. Share a little bit yeah. from Psalms 41. Psalms. I want you to listen to this, folks, because this is a word from mm -hmm. the Lord for you in 2012. Yes. You're in the beginning of a new year, and you want to know how to get the favor. You want to know how to get the blessing of God upon your household, your family. Many of you need healing in your body. I want you to listen closely to what Bobby's going to share. Brother Jensen, these scriptures here, I'm going to read, are the scriptures that we, re, we, we live our life by. Yes. Right. God woke me up at one o'clock in the morning many years ago when we were so poor, we didn't have nothing. I mean, nothing, nothing. And the Lord said, blessed is he that considereth the poor. Yes. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, Lord, that's me, I know. Because we are poor, you must be talking to me for sure. <laughs> but the Lord said, no, the secret is 
bless somebody else mm. that's poor. Proverbs 28, 27 says, He that giveth to the poor shall not lack. Yes. Mm. But then these scriptures are so powerful. And I'm going to read from the King James, the Bible I have here. Psalms 41, blessed is he that considereth the poor. And then it's got seven supernatural promises Powerful. that follow. When we get in the will of God, we don't have to beg for his blessings and mm. chase his blessings down. His blessings will look you up, chase you, chase you down, and run he you said over. said they would yes. overtake you. Yes. Overtake you. Yes. There's That's, some blessings that are yes. going to overtake you in 2012. Yes. That's this Seven is supernatural two, 2012, blessings. 2012, 2012, then right now, the, the Lord, bless thee, they can sit the poor. Number one, the Lord would deliver him in the time of trouble. Mm. How many of you have been in trouble? Mm -hmm. But the Lord said, when you get in trouble, I remember the IRS one time came out, two of them to my office years ago. They said, you owe us $41,000. I said, we're a nonprofit. We don't even pay taxes. Oh, you owe. Make a long story short, they did an audit. They did everything. They said, it's good. Dear Lord, we owe you a check. <laughs> 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 wow, well, telling that's you, great. But when you send two IRS to deliver are, you two, in the time of trouble. Boy, that's yeah. a word for somebody. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in the time of trouble, okay? Number two, mm. Mm. the Lord will preserve him. Yes. Mm -hmm. It means watch over you. The next keep few you. words are even more powerful. Yes. And keep him alive. That's the third promise. We've seen and that every day in Haiti. He'll preserve you. Every day. And he'll keep you alive. He keeps us alive. Yes. You'll live and not die and declare. He'll keep you alive. Keep yes. your marriage alive. Yes. Keep your family alive. Keep your hopes, your dreams. The and purpose yeah. of God can stay alive. You, it's not going to die this year. The plan, the mission, the assignment of God on your life, it's going to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Yes, and He'll keep you alive. Keep you alive you physically. Know, everybody wants to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven so bad, right, Brother Jensen, but not the next load. <laughs> I mean, I can do God more good down here than I can up there. That's good. I mean, why, why rush it? It's going to be there forever and ever and ever and That's ever. so good. But we're only down here one time. Let's make it count for Jesus. Yes, sir. But God said, I'll keep you alive. When I caught my melanoma cancer, they told me That's I'd good. be dead guaranteed. Mm -hmm. and, Six and, years ago, you had melanoma cancer. Oh, yeah. Melanoma yes, I'd be cancer. dead. I'd be dead. That's the fastest guaranteed. growing cancer. Six, oh, six months to live. Dead. Six months or less. Death sentence uh, hanging over his head. But you started. You, of course, you had been a missionary. But all your life, you can't have all these other blessings by skipping over verse no. one. Blessed is he who considers the poor. That's a secret. Yeah. That's you started the working and giving your life to minister to the, the poor. That's the formula. And you get cancer. Yeah. And then and I get cancer. What happened? Can't tell the whole story, but I went in there and I said, Doctor, be truthful. Just tell me that because you'd be dead in six months or a lot less, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a long time ago, but I've been doing well. And I just had a physical uh, last month, Sherry and I, all kind of physical stuff. They said, we're in perfect health. So, <laughs> so anyway, but God healed me, Praise gave God. me a miracle. Mm -hmm. I remember getting a call about a year ago and you were out working on a tractor in Haiti. Tractor and a bush hog. And uh, it was about five o'clock in the morning. Bobby's going to go out there and get on that tractor. And I said, now, Bobby, what are you going to do that for? That's okay out there. No, he sees some weeds out there. I, I felt in my spirit not to let him go. But you know how men are. Mm -hmm. So he went out there and all of a sudden, tree limb knocked him off. To make a long story short, the, the tractor and the bush hog ran over him. Jesus. I thought he was cut to a million pieces. He had to be air evacuated out of Haiti. But you know what? This scripture right here kept him alive. You said you laid that scripture. I did. When he was laying in bed, they got him off the ground. They, they brought him in. I thought he's, he was just full of blood, broken, broken bones. And I took the Bible Hallelujah. like this. Praise God. And I laid it on the Bible. Praise the Lord. I said, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Jesus. I said, you said. Thank you, Jesus. I said, you said. <laughs> Thank Praise you, Jesus. God. That you would keep him alive. Thank you, Jesus. And I said, we've done what you told us to do. We've mm. blessed the poor. And I claim your promises. Mm. And the scripture, I believe, went right from the top of his head to the bottom of his mm. feet. I will keep him alive. Yes. God said, I'll keep you alive. And my, the next my, one, aunt, my aunt Brenda, who has been a supporter of this ministry faithfully, every time she, she mm. gave uh, to, to build those mm. homes in Haiti. 
and she just this week was was told last week was told she had cancer mm. the size in her stomach the size of a basketball they told her that she would probably have three months to live they told her that it was stage four and it was it was to just get everything ready they were going to go in and perform surgery they got in mm. and took the tumor out it was like a ball it was oh. totally not attached to anything ran two tests on it, no cancer. Wow. She's alive and she will continue to live. And I guess oh, I just feel this strong in my God. heart. I feel like telling you, he'll keep you alive. Yeah. Yes. If you'll minister to the poor. Yes. And keep going. That's three That's supernatural. Yeah. And the number fourth four. one. Uh-huh. And the fourth one. And he should be blessed upon the earth. There we go. Wow. Blessings. He shall be blessed. Blessed. The blessed upon line. Upon the earth. And we're the seed of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Do you want God to bless you this year? Do you want God to bless your finances this year? Do you want God to bless you in your career? Do you want to have resources enough to take care of your family and beyond that yes. to bless the poor? Thank you, Lord. Here's a key and a real insight and secret to the blessed life. Yes. He that considers the poor. Mm. That's the fourth supernatural life. blessing. Yes. We'll have a blessed life. Keep the going. The fifth one. Thou wilt not deliver him unto yes. the will of his enemies. So powerful. Powerful. People have enemies. We all have enemies. We all have enemies. And they have a will to desire, a desire to destroy. To destroy Satan you. Yes. comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But he said, I'll not deliver you over to the will of your enemies if you'll help the poor. Mm. You got anything you else? Yeah. Poor. Say Blessed that again. Blessed is he that considers the poor. If you give and help the poor, God said, "I'm going to do seven things for you." I mean, I could almost just jump. See, off the Satan's scout will was to kill, kill Bobby that mm -hmm. day on that tractor, yes. but God wouldn't turn him no. over to his enemy's will. No. Praise God. We're under divine protection in yes, 2012 we yes. when we Praise minister God. to the poor. Yes. yes, we are. And the sixth verse. Brother Jensen is, the Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Mm. Once I look back that up in the Hebrew, what that is really saying, and what one Bible scholar told me, he says, when you get to be old and feeble, so a lot of time the devil says, you won't even know your so name. Good. You won't even know, you won't have half your mind. That's so but good. Mm -hmm. the, the Lord's going to strengthen us when we're up and old. Mind. We're gonna, we won't renew have a weak strength. mind. Right. He's going to renew our strength. Yes. We're going like to be eagle. fine yes. like an eagle. You're right. And then the seven Not old promise. and decrepit. No, but yeah. strong and fruitful. Fruitful. In your in your in your senior years. Yes. Oh, the devil used Strong. to tell me. The devil used to tell me all the time. Young you know, at so heart. When you get to be an old man, you won't even know your name. <laughs> wow. You won't even know good. who you are. I you think that's a fear of a lot of people. He's a lying yes. devil. Yes. Mm. He's a lying devil. But God said, No, I'm gonna renew you. You're going to, you, you, I'm going to strengthen you yes. from the bad language. You won't man, be I like feel that. This. That's powerful. You won't be like that. And listen. Just say it right where you are. I'm not gonna be like that. Amen. I'm not going to be like that. That's maybe, right. maybe the enemy's telling you your your health is bad and it's going to get. The Bible said, the path of the righteous grows brighter and brighter, mm -hmm. not darker and darker and sicker and sicker and weary and you know and mm -hmm. all that. Just believe the promises of God that He is our healer, He is our preserver. Yes. And, and then on the last the, promise, yeah, here's a, here's a, such a good one, Brother Jensen. Here's such a good the Sabbath. Mm supernatural promise. Right. Thou wilt make all of his bed in his sickness. And the Hebrew translation was written originally in, in other words, God is saying, when you are sick, I will heal you and get you out of that bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's exactly another new translation to say. I'll that. heal you and, and get, get you out, out of the bed. bed. You'll rise out of the bed. Mm. That's God's promise. Mm. Praise God. Seven supernatural promises and supernatural blessings that come upon a person's life when they begin to give to the poor. I don't know what other ministries do. You know, I, I, th I think there's many marvelous, fantastic, but I, I will face God for what we do with our finances in this ministry. And we have determined that we're going to make a difference in the world through ministries like Love a Child. I sense many of you this year need those seven blessings mm -hmm. upon your life. Hallelujah. You need those seven yes, blessings in 2012. 
And I believe God wants me to pray for you right now. Bobby and Amen. Sherry, mm. let's agree together for yes. people watching this program. Maybe yes. you're languishing on a bed of sickness. Maybe you're surrounded by your enemies and they have a oh. will to destroy you. Jesus. Maybe you feel like that, you know, you just don't know what you're going to do. You're in a time of mm. trouble, as the scripture mm. said. It's a season and a time is coming at you. Not one problem from every direction, a time of trouble. Well, this is a word that has come mm -hmm. to stop Satan and his tracks in your life. Yes. And Lord, we just pray yes. right now for those who are God, sick, those who are in Jesus. the time of trouble, yes, those who have an enemy that has yes, surrounded Lord them Jesus. and they have a will to destroy yes, them. In the name of Jesus, we just agree for you and your household, your family, your finances, your health, you're going to recover. You shall see these supernatural blessings come on your life. And listen, if you don't know Jesus is your Savior, now's the time to give Him your heart. Jesus, be Lord. Take my life. Take my family. Take my future. I give it to you today in Jesus' name. I'm going to come right back and I'm going to tell you something very exciting that's happening in the next few days that you're going to be a part of, I believe. My announcer is going to talk to you right now. I was a remodeling contractor in Atlanta for several years until January of 2008 uh, and the market took a crash and uh, I found myself out of work and could not find any work. I spent uh, a lot of time just doing odd and end jobs here and there, trying to uh, just, just get enough money together to put food on the table for my family. I would have to borrow money from my parents, borrow money from my in-laws. My house was facing foreclosure any second. Problems with the IRS, tax problems, and utilities were about to be cut off, and I was at the end of my rope. And I told the Lord, I'm going to fast for you, Father, for three days, water only. I need a job. I can't correct any of these other problems until I get a job, Lord. But on the fourth day that morning at 7 a.m., I got a call from a guy saying, you still need a job? And I said, yeah, I need a job. And he said, I said, what you got? He said, I'm building movie sets right up your alley and we need a good carpenter. We need a good hand. And the coordinator said, be here at 6 a.m. Monday morning. Bring your tool belt and your screw gun. And I haven't slowed down since. Long story short, the Lord modified my loan. My house payment was cut in half. And instead of owing the IRS money, um, I actually sat down and got everything worked out and they ended up sending me a check for $12,000. There's no doubt in my mind that fasting was the key. Every time you fast, you should expect a miracle from God. Well, I want to thank you for watching this program and in our closing moments together, I remind you of Psalms 41 and verse 1. I believe it is a great promise for this new year, 2012. I believe that as you're hearing me today, the very heart of God has been communicated to you that as you consider the poor, these seven supernatural blessings we've talked about will hit your life. It's recorded in Psalms 41. He said that he'll deliver you in the time of trouble. He'll preserve you. He'll keep you alive. He says oh, he'll bless you. You'll be blessed in the earth. Don't you want those kinds of blessings? You won't be turned over to the will of your enemies, and he'll get you out of your sick bed. Well, I'm asking you today to consider the poor. What we're doing, you see behind me, is a beautiful 30,000 square foot food distribution center we're going to build in Haiti in the next few days. I need 365 people who are watching this program to step up and say, Jensen, I want to agree with you that that 30,000 square foot building, 100 feet long, 300 or 300 feet long, 100 feet wide, I want to be a part of that. And then we fill it every month with 540,000 meals to consider the poor 
and he said these seven supernatural blessings, miraculous blessings will come back on your life. You've tried a lot of things. Try ministering to the poor and watch what God will do in your life. If I were asking for myself, I would be embarrassed. I'm not. I'm asking you boldly to consider the poor. And if you'll do it, I'm asking, I'm asking 365 of you at the beginning of this year, a new year, to sow a $1,000 seed. He said, my sheep know my voice. I believe that you hear him. You feel a witness to what you're hearing right now. And as you sow that seed, I believe with all of my heart, God is going to release a flood of these seven blessings in your life. He's going to deal with your enemies. He's going to touch you physically. He's going to fight your battles. He's going to deliver you in the time of trouble, Psalms 41 said, as you consider the poor. You say, well, I can't do... I can't do that right now, a thousand dollars. Well, will you do a dollar a day and just do it in a one-time gift so we can build this building? Will you, will you consider a $365 gift? And if you can't do that, then give, give the very best you can and help us. Everyone can be a part of this miracle. We're going to continue to feed the hungry, consider the poor. And I believe 2012 is going to be a year when God releases these seven supernatural blessings into our life, onto our family. And I just agree with you today that what you make happen for the poor and the needy, God will see it and God will confirm Psalms 41 in your life as you consider the poor. I look forward to hearing from you. Respond today. God moves when you move by faith. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus, nothing else matters. Nothing in this world will do. Jesus, you're Coming to Free Chapel on February 24th and 25th, One Marriage Conference, licensed to build with Jensen and Sharice Franklin and special guests Brian and Bobby Houston. This will be a marriage conference like no other. Hi everyone at Free Chapel. You know what, Brian and Bobby here at Hillsong Church, Sydney, Australia. We can't wait to be with you guys at the marriage seminar. That's true, 34 years <laughs> we've been married. And you know, just like you, we've had to live that out every single day. And with three adult kids, I believe we've got little tools that can help you to set up the future in a God-glorifying way. The One Marriage Conference, licensed to build. Register online at onemarriageconference.org. This program has been brought to you by the friends and partners of Jensen Franklin Ministries. For more information on the ministry and resources, visit us online at jensenfranklin.org.